All right, everybody, welcome back. Josh from Sirius Greenhouse here. Um, it's mid-March, and we are in southwest Colorado in Pagosa Springs, Colorado, just east of Durango, Colorado. Uh, and what we're looking at behind us is very exciting, is the first Vesta kit house build. Um, we've been working on the Vesta kit house design for about two years, and this is the first time we've built it and erected one. This is actually the Vesta Plus. So it's a two-story kit house with attached greenhouse, um, highly insulated, four inch wall panels, R32, eight inch roof panels, R48. Um, I'm gonna take you around and show you some of the features, but again, we're very excited. We think it'll be dried in in about a month. We'll be documenting the build as it happens and we will keep you posted. Okay, so we're on the Southwest corner of the house right now. And it's just good to get a feel from this perspective of what's going on that southern 12 feet which there's nothing happening right now except scaffolding and some staging will become the greenhouse that's attached to the house then you have the vesta plus house portion which is 24 feet north to south 20 foot tall southern wall and a 16 foot tall northern wall and the greenhouse 12 feet by 40 feet works out to 480 square feet of greenhouse um, we're going to go take a walk inside and we'll give you a little tour of the frame portions Okay, so I just stepped into the west wall of the Vesta. This is could be a front door. Um, we don't finish the interior, so each client can dictate interior layout as they see fit. But we're in the main living portion of the house right now. As you can see here, this is the Vesta Plus. There's a lofted second story. The main level living footprint is 24 feet north to south. The lofted area is actually 14 feet. So you can see that it cantilevers two feet beyond what it would be the center line of the house itself. Um, these clients are gonna slowly build out the interior. It's not toy designed, but you can see there's a stairway opening here to get to the second story. That's part of the kit. Um, they're gonna do a small bathroom here. Um, and then mostly it's gonna be left open and they're gonna just ease their way into figuring out how to use it. In this corner of the house, in the way we've drawn it, we have some sample plans with some example floor plans. This is off in the kitchen zone. Um, what you have here now is the south wall of the house, which is also the north wall of the greenhouse. You have two sliding doors that go into the greenhouse. So if you wanted to separate the environment, greenhouse to house, you just close that door. The windows are closed, two separate spaces. But on a day like today, sunny day but winter, you probably open those doors, you step right into the greenhouse, it's warm and sunny, it could be heating the house as well. Maybe harvest some kale, tomatoes, banana, avocado, rosemary. Um, but again, it's a decent sized greenhouse. Um, this is not a professional cultivation space by any means. This is really uh, enjoyable space for you to produce some food for you and your family. And also a really nice sunny space to be outside without being outside. This greenhouse also has a GAT system. This is a GAT intake. This actually goes down, underground, splits both directions to both corners of the greenhouse. On a day like today, this system will be cooling the greenhouse. It'll be taking hot air from inside the greenhouse, blowing it underground, heating the soil under the greenhouse, exhausting cooler air, helping to cool the greenhouse. On a gray day or as gray earlier, this would be intaking cold air warming it underground and putting warmer air out into the greenhouse. And now we're on the upstairs loft. So we provide all the support as well as all the floor joists. As we stated, this is the opening for the stairs. And the other portion of the floor. The north side is six feet from the floor to the bottom of that rafter along the north side, and then it gains in height as you head towards the south. The thought being maybe the head of the bed lives along the north wall here, somewhere where you're not standing very often, and the foot of the bed or a dresser or something else is over here where the ceiling height is higher. We do get amazing views from upstairs. There's four large windows. 
So some sort of, if you do build a wall at the edge of the loft, maybe some glass panes or some windows so you can get views outside of here, the beautiful mountains and the amazing Ponderosa forest. But again, the interior is your choice. So choose your own adventure.